Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I have watched another movie that we want to share with you. It's called The Family Affair. And it is. And it's another, another rom-com, very nice movie. And if you can recall, um, I asked Art last week when we reviewed um, the, uh, what was the movie we were looking at? The Idea rom-com. of You. The Idea of You. Idea of You with, uh, what's her Anne, name? Anne Hathaway. Thank you very much, Anne Hathaway. Um, I asked Art to review this movie, uh, A Family Affair, because I had seen this very similar, two very similar movies. But we'll get to a comparison of those in a little while. All right. First, let's talk about A Family Affair. It is a, uh, a fun uh, romantic comedy. Um, this one has Nicole Kidman as the uh, main love interest and Zac Efron. Zac Efron, um, hunky guy uh, from the Disney, um, what was it, High School Musical and others. Very successful actor. And the difference between the two is that in this one, Zac Efron is a famous, hunky uh, male movie star. And uh, he's a little taken with himself, as we like to think most movie stars are. (laughs) Um, And his assistant, his young uh, 24-year-old assistant, runs all over town at his behest, picking up laundry, doing all kinds of stuff. And she is uh, feeling like she's being abused. Well, she complains to her mother, and her mother, uh, who is a widow for 12 years, says, well, you know, you got to quit. Go do something else. You're a bright girl. And when she does quit, the movie star says, oh, I've got to go. I I can't lose her. She's too valuable. Comes to the mother's house and runs into this beautiful young mother and says, holy cow, did you have uh, your baby when you were uh, a baby yourself? And of course, love blossoms, and they fall. Uh, they fall in love. And the daughter, who's 24 years old, working for the boss, has a problem with this. So the relationship movie is uh, with the daughter having a problem. Uh, different ages, different uh, situations. Uh, very well done, nicely well acted. Um, but I did have some problems with it. What did you think of this movie, Art? So here's here's the deal. Uh... You've been going on and waxing poetic about it. Bigger stars, acting was first rate, story not as believable. First of all, let me, bottom line it, I enjoyed watching it, okay? But I had more difficulty staying with this one and I almost, almost got out of it uh, uh, a couple along the way because the uh, uh, Zac Efron character was really abusive. Uh, the daughter was uh, thought she was going to be his assistant, then a producer, and a really smart uh, 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 young lady. And uh, uh, so I enjoyed her, but uh, it it was far more improbable as a different age relationship like the last one was. And yeah. so that's why I had more tr- trouble with it. And Zach Efron had less redeeming value. As a matter of fact, there was nothing wrong with the the lead the younger boy, uh, and he was more of a boy than a young man, uh, as Zach Efron was. So I had a harder time believing it, that uh, also that they, they would so quickly get involved in a sexual relationship with the mother and things like that. So it just wasn't as believable, although uh, as, uh, as uh, performers, they were great. I will tell you, though, there was nothing breakout about any of these performances in either one, except in um, uh, the idea of you, this Joey, was it? Uh, no, this is a, a family affair, a, a family what we're affair. talking about today. Uh, the, yeah, the family affair, the, the breakout was this, uh, the daughter, Joey Kerr. Joey okay. King, yeah. Uh, and I, ju- yeah, yeah, King. And she was just absolutely fabulous. Yeah. That's why I stayed with it. Okay. Yeah, it is. It, she was, yeah, she was terrific. She was, uh, if you watched it for no other reason than to watch for her progression and how she yeah. handles stuff, it's worth worth the movie alone yeah. for her for this performance. I, I agree. In fact, I would I would suggest that the first half of this movie, which is really about uh, Zac Efron, the the movie star, yeah. meeting and falling in love with the mother um, of Nicole Kidman. 
The first half of this movie is the romantic comedy part of it. And you know what? It wasn't that great. If you stick around for the second half of the movie, that's where it becomes interesting. And it's not about the May-December romance, really. It's about the three women. We meant, we forgot to mention Kathy Bates plays right. the grandmother. And she was terrific. And it's a really, the, the second half of the movie is about the relationship of the three women dealing with the mother's romance with a younger man. And that relationship between um, Nicole Kidman, the mother, Joey King, the daughter, and Kathy Bates, the grandmother, really is wonderful, a wonderful storyline, great acting. That's the heart of the movie, but you have to you have to be willing to sit through uh, kind of a um, okay May December romance uh, for the first half of the movie. Right. I think the big takeaway is that we are agreeing it's a movie worth seeing. Yeah. Uh, and but don't give up because if you give up, you're going to miss the really good part. And this this young actress, uh, yes. Joey King, was just. I hope to see her in a lot more stuff because she was a very engaging. She she got into the part. Uh, you could feel her frustrations. Uh, and yeah. I think she she performed exceptionally well in that role. Yeah, it was it really was a movie written for uh, the daughter and the mother and the grandmother, mm. as opposed to um, the, the May December romance with Zac Efron. I just want to comment on, comment on Zach Efron. I didn't think he. I did. I disagree with you. I didn't think he was such a terrible, um, abusive uh, stinker of a of a Hollywood movie star that uh, he was irredeemable. Wow. Okay. Uh, I thought he was just the right kind of mix of. Uh, he had the redeeming qualities um, and. Uh, However, he, I thought Zac Efron was just boring. Mm. <laughs> I just thought that whole, I'm not sure, other than the fact that the guy is ripped and he's a hunk, I'm not sure why the romance flowered. Yeah. Unlike, yeah. unlike the previous movie we looked at, which is The Idea of You with... Um, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway and, Hathaway and Unknowns. And, an, and a relatively unknown actor. I thought that was better, and the acting was yeah, better, to be real honest. Uh, but that doesn't mean you wouldn't want to watch both of them. If you like romantic comedies, uh, you'll love both of these. They're so similar in, in plot, that is the May-December romance, but they're so different, and they're worth. They're both worth but, uh, watching. But again, we, want, we, we do want to emphasize, and John and I are, are equal, I think, uh, uh, on this is don't give up. If you if you sit down and start watching it, don't give up. Okay, yeah. skip ahead a little bit if you have to, uh, but you don't want to miss the second half because the second half would have been worth the price of admission to the theater. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.